Former F1 world champion Jacques Villeneuve claims that Lewis Hamilton continued silence indicates that he is distancing himself from Mercedes boss Toto Wolff. After losing the 2021 world title in heartbreaking fashion, the Brit has largely withdrawn from the public eye, even with speculation swirling about his potential retirement. Hamilton looked to be cruising towards world title number eight after battling through the chaotic first few laps in Abu Dhabi. But a well-documented final few laps have caused controversy ever since, with the FIA race director Michael Massey effectively wiping out the Mercedes man's lead behind a late safety car. On fresher tyres, Red Bull's Max Verstappen executed a dramatic overtake on the final lap to clinch his first crown in contentious circumstances. Hamilton appeared gracious in defeat, but Wolf went public about the pain the 37-year-old felt following what the Austrian termed a robbery. Apart from receiving a knighthood, Hamilton has been silent ever since, and Wolf refused to to confirm whether the seven-time world champion would return in 2022 to partner George Russell. Villeneuve, who won the driver's title in 1997, pulled no punches when given his own impression of the situation. I interpret his silence as a way of distancing himself from Wolf. Villeneuve told Gazzetta dello Sport, You can lose in style. Instead, Toto behaved like someone who plays Monopoly, but because he is losing, he throws it all upside down. For me, he has damaged his image, and Hamilton is sensitive on this issue because he's thinking about his future in America, perhaps in Hollywood. It depends on how good the new Mercedes is, whether it will be easy to win or not. Lewis is also a bit tired. He had quiet season after Nico Rosberg's retirement and certainly doesn't want to live a year like the last. He thought he could easily break records and that wasn't the case. And then when you lose a title like that, it's as if you had a diamond in your hand and then it's taken away from you. It hurts much more than if Verstappen had led the whole race. McLaren boss Zach Brown has also been pondering what Hamilton's next move will be and said he wouldn't be shocked if he decided to hang up his race helmet but ultimately doesn't think he's ready to stop just yet. I think he'll be back, Brown said. He's a racing driver. I think he's at the top of his game. I'm sure he's very angry and I think race car drivers want to race and I think he's a fighter. He'll want to come back and try and win an eighth championship. I don't think he's ready to retire. This is my own personal opinion. I've not talked to him because once you hang it up, you hang it up. I guess you could come back as some have done, but I don't think he's ready to hang it up. And I don't think he's going to let an incident put him into retirement. However, he ultimately thinks Hamilton will be back to partner new teammate George Russell at the Silver Arrows this upcoming season. And many expect Russell to make a real impression in his first year driving the Mercedes. George Russell will challenge and attack seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton in 2022, according to ex-Formula One racer Perry McCarthy. Russell has replaced Alfa Romeo-bound Valtteri Bottas after impressing for three seasons with Williams. He attracted attention with some stunning performances despite the uncompetitive machinery he piloted. Russell out-qualified teammates Nicholas Latifi and Robert Kubica 57 times across 59 race weekends at the famous British outfit. The 23-year-old secured a stunning podium at the Belgian Grand Prix after qualifying P2 following a super session, with only Red Bull's Max Verstappen outclassing the Brit. The new season will not be the first time Russell has set foot in a Mercedes. When Hamilton was ruled out of the 2020 Sakir Grand Prix, Russell was handed the opportunity to prove himself as he stepped up to Mercedes for a one-off stand-in appearance. Bottas acted as support for Hamilton as he pursued an eighth title, and speculation is mounting whether Russell will do the same role. If Hamilton returns turns to Formula One, McCarthy believes Russell can compete with the 37-year-old this upcoming season. I think he's going to be tapping Lewis on the shoulder, I really do, McCarthy told Formula One News.co.uk. And the other thing is that, you know, if Lewis has developed any chinks in his armour because he does feel a bit low, then George will be prying those open. You know, he's going to be on the attack. It will undoubtedly be an enormous challenge for the young Brit, but McCarthy is confident Russell can make a real impact. Your absolute best scenario as a racing driver is to join a team where you've got an absolutely brilliant established star, the 60-year-old explained. And then your job is to beat him because suddenly, if you've just jumped in and you're beating that guy who holds pretty much every record going, then you're looked at as being brilliant. So you know, racing drivers are selfish. You're in this 
there is an employment and there is that urge to compete, but you're looking at brand, you're looking at reputation, you're looking at delivering, and you're looking at winning. And your worst enemy is actually your teammate all the way through because they're perceived to have the same tires, the same car, the same engine, the same opportunities. And if your teammate is dusting you every week, you're not looking that great. If you come in and dust your teammate, especially if he's a brilliant star, then your reputation is great. So that clearly is exactly what George is after. The 23 Race 2022 campaign begins on the 18th to the 20th of March, with winter testing for the all-new generation of cars underway from the 23rd of February. Key figures and big names in F1 have debated what is to come next, which includes the future of Massey, who had a huge part to play at Yas Marina. The FIA are in the midst of an investigation into the season finale, with reforms expected ahead of the next season, one of which will reportedly change the way team bosses can interact with the race director during a race. While many have also called for greater support around the race director, whether that be Massey or his replacement. A recent meeting between F1 chief Stefano Domenicali and F1 president Mohamed Ben Salayim reportedly pushed the issue no closer to a conclusion, which leaves Hamilton's future hanging in the balance. The pair sat down to discuss last season's controversial yet thrilling end to the campaign in Abu Dhabi and the the future of race director Michael Massey, who oversaw the jaw-dropping final lap of the season that left Hamilton empty-handed. It's believed that neither Domenicali or Ben Salayem were forthcoming in regards to the contentious events in Abu Dhabi during their extensive talks. Massey could still potentially remain part of the F1 picture, with some suggesting he could continue in his role despite a revamp. Aside from determining the futures of Hamilton and Massey, 2022 is set to see the introduction of the new rules. The hope of making racing a more level playing field. An FIA chief has warned F1's big hitters to expect more teams to be in the mix for race wins in a hint of what fans can hope to expect from the sport in 2022. A series of new technical rules come into force this year, which could have big impact on the sport's power dynamics as we know them. Mercedes and Red Bull in particular, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen were a class above in 2021 as they dominated the rest of the field in terms of performance. The Silver Arrows in particular have been almost untouchable during the hybrid era, winning the Constructors' Championship in every season since 2014. Changes to the regulations around tyres, wheels and aerodynamics give teams lower down the standings a chance to innovate over the winter, however, and potentially pose more of a threat next season. Those who come up with an idea that no one else has thought of could, in theory, gain a sizeable performance advantage and propel themselves up the pecking order. That is exactly what the FIA's head of single-seater technical matter, Nicholas Tombasis, expects to happen. And he has warned the big teams that they might not have everything their own way over the coming year. It's difficult to expect it to be more exciting than 2021 because that is a very high point of reference. But I think there's a bit of convergence. I think there will be more cars in the mix. And I think that would be positive. When I was looking at some old championships I read recently, we once had 11 winners in a year and you could win a championship with a few wins. I'm not saying we will get to that point, but of course I think to have more variability would be good. Also to have people who can genuinely follow closer for long periods and not overheat the tyres and still be able to fight for prolonged periods I think that'll be quite exciting. The changes put even more pressure on teams like Mercedes and Red Bull to make sure their cars spot on for the new season. But they might find they are no longer dominant 